Hey guys, Tyner up here, and today I'm going to be showing you my recommended settings for the Company of Heroes 3 multiplayer pre-alpha. So let's cut straight to the chase, and if you want more details on how I arrived at these settings, you can keep watching later in the video. Now these are obviously for my hardware, and I have an AMD 5900X processor, an NVIDIA GTX 1080, 32 gigs of RAM, and I use a 1440p monitor. And according to Relic, here are the minimum specifications and the recommended specifications for this pre-alpha preview. And here are how these settings look in-game. You can see that they're overall not the sharpest, but they're good enough for me to not detract from my overall experience playing this. And you can see as I pan around the map, the game is running buttery smooth, leading to an overall very fun gameplay experience when fighting against an opponent. Keep an eye on my frame rate as we move through the water section on this map, because on higher graphical settings my frame rate absolutely tanks in this area, but I'm still getting roughly 100 FPS. One of the great things about Company of Heroes 3 compared to 2 is that you don't have to quit out of your game to change your graphics settings. So if you guys want to tweak my settings and do some A-B testing on your own hardware, it is very quick and easy to do. If you are looking for better graphics than what I'm demonstrating, first I would recommend bumping up the game scale, maybe from 75 to 100. But if that's still not good enough for you, after that you can start to bump up the image quality. If you reset the game to defaults, it will set the image quality at medium. So let's take a look at how that runs. You can see immediately my frame rate is lower than before, and especially as I start to move the camera around, occasionally now we're dipping into the mid 30s, which for me is just unacceptable, it makes the game very unfun to play. And in the water section, it is constantly in the mid 30s for frame rate. So if we bump the image quality back down to minimum, but keep the game scale at 100, now when scrolling around the map, it is quite smooth, occasionally dipping down into the low 50s, instead of constantly dipping down into the mid 30s. So image quality really seems to have a negative impact on the frame rate in this pre-alpha for, in my opinion, not a big boost to graphical quality, especially at the regular zoom level. Now there is another setting, this time in the controls menu, that you should also consider turning off, called pan smoothing. And I'll turn it back on here to give you a demonstration of what it does. So I'm moving the camera around by having my mouse on the edge of the screen. And as soon as I take my mouse off the edge of the screen, instead of the camera coming to an immediate halt, it slows down over the course of around a quarter of a second before coming to a complete stop. So while coming to a gradual halt like this may be more cinematically pleasing, as a player, having what you're trying to click on be a moving target, I believe will lead to more input errors in the long run. Some other players that got the build early also reported that pan smoothing reduced their performance, but on my performance settings at least, I didn't notice much of a difference either way. But hey, let's just turn it off anyway, better safe than sorry. If you have a multi-monitor setup, you'll want to enable clap mouse to window, otherwise your mouse can fly off the side of the screen into the next window while you're playing, and that's very irritating. However, when we go to the settings panel, it shows that this is already turned on, when this is definitely not the case, so what you need to do is turn it off, hit save, then turn it back on, and hit save again. And now it should be working perfectly. Note in the early build that I got, I had to redo this every time I launched the game, so it might be the case that you have to as well. These three settings also reset themselves every time I started the game. And in my testing, I didn't notice any differences when altering these settings, leading me to believe they've been disabled for this pre-alpha. But if you are desperate for some extra performance, you might as well try turning them down to their lower settings and turning VSync off, especially given how that negatively impacted Company of Heroes 2's performance. Another issue I had with the Co3 pre-alpha was the high amount of input delay. So I did a lot of testing on this by running some input monitoring software and recording my game at 100 frames per second and then counting the number of frames between the input registering and the squad on screen moving. Unfortunately, nothing that I tried made a big difference to the input delay. Maybe my settings improved things by two or three frames just from the game running better, but that was it. Even playing against bots, you will have the same amount of input delay, suggesting that all games are running through their server. Now, some of you know that I'm from New Zealand, so I don't have the best input delay to start things off. So I tested playing against the same player in Company of Heroes 3 and all three of the Company of Heroes 2 servers. So you can probably expect to have an extra quarter of a second of input delay in Company of Heroes 3 pre-alpha than you did in Company of Heroes 2. Now if you're looking for some more performance, running the game at a lower resolution did appear to be slightly better than just reducing the game scale. 
However, for me on a 1440p monitor, this would make the UI text really stretched out, jagged and ugly, which is why I didn't recommend it. However, if you're on a lower resolution screen, this might not be such a big issue. That's it guys, I hope this will allow you to get the most out of your Co3 pre-alpha experience. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider coming on board as a Patreon backer.